hey everyone so i have a question here it's kind of fill in the blanks we have to find out the missing digits here so the question is write the missing digits in the following sums so first question is addition and second one is subtraction so this kind of questions uh, come usually in the lower classes so the first one is addition right let's start solving this so we're going to add this three numbers here so 7 plus 2 is 9 9 plus 9 is 18 so first box we can clearly write down so 8 will come here and 1 will be a carry we got one carry right then next so 1 plus 8 is 9 9 plus 3 is 12 now 12 plus how much we should add here to get 0 0 means the next uh, number with 0 is 20 right so 9 plus 3 is 11 sorry 9 plus 3 is 12 so with this 12 how much we should add to get 0 so we know that 12 plus 8 will give us 20 this means 8 should come here okay I hope it's clear how we got 8 so here we'll get 8 1 is carry and here also we'll get 8 so that when you add up this 1 plus 8 is 9 9 plus 3 is 12 12 plus 8 is 20 so 0 will come here and again 2 will be carry again we're going to add them so 2 plus we don't know this number right so keep a hold on it so 2 plus 4 is 6 so 6 plus 3 is 9 so with 9 how much we should add to get 6 so obviously with 9 whenever you add anything you will not get 6 so next number with 6 in the one space will be 16 right so with the 9 how much more you should add to get 16 see this this is not 6 it's a 16 okay 1 will be again a carry here because 9 plus you do anything you will not get 6 so the next number will be 16 so we know that 9 plus 7 we're gonna give you 16 so here in this box we'll get 7 and here we got 16 so 1 will be carry here okay I hope it's clear how we're getting the answer the next one here 1 plus 1 is 2 then 2 plus we don't know what this is so 2 plus 5 is 7 so again to this 7 how much I should add to get here they have given 4 so obvious we know that with 7 if you add whatever number you will not get 4 so the next number is 14 right so with 7 how much you should add to get 14 so 7 plus 7 is 14 so here we will get 7 so 14 means 1 will be again carry now we will add them so 1 plus 4 is 5 5 plus 1 is 6 6 plus 2 is 8 so here we will get 8 Okay. so that was the first problem the next one is subtraction now this one will be a little tricky so in second one we have what number we should subtract from like we have to subtract 8 from this number to get 5 so obviously this number has to be less than 8 right if, if, if the, the number here can be maximum 9 but here we got 5 this means this number here what we have is smaller than 8 we have to take borrow from 5 now what can be there so again it's very simple with how much I should subtract 8 to get 5 so we know that 13 minus 8 is 5 right but here again 13 will not come it's single digit number 13 cannot come here this means here it will be 3 so when we write 3 here what happens since we cannot subtract it this will take a borrow from 5 so I'm just doing I'm not deeply explaining how we're subtracting I'm just directly doing so this will become 4 and this will become 13 okay so 13 minus 8 is 5 now that was over the next one so here we have 4 and then from 4 we have subtracted certain number to get 7 obviously even this is not possible from 4 whatever you remove you will not get 7 here right this means the number over here is greater than 7 so again this means this 4 is taking it has to take a borrow from 4 so this 4 will become 3 and this will become 14 now from 14 how much I should subtract to get 7 
so that it will be 7 14 minus 7 is 7 so here we'll get 7 then the next one so here we got 3 same thing with 3 whatever number you subtract here like 3 minus 2 is 1 3 minus 1 is 1 3 minus 4 you cannot do right so here also the number which you're gonna come here is greater than uh, like greater than 3 we can say okay so what will be that number so obviously this 3 again has to take a borrow from this number we don't know what is this number over here so here I'll just cut this number this will become 13 and from 13 what I should subtract to get 7 so it is 6 so 13 minus 6 will be 7 so here we'll get 6 now next one now remember we don't know what is this number right whatever number come here it will be reduced by one or one second yes i have already taken a borrow from this number so they have given that a number minus seven is equal to four so again this number maximum can be nine but nine minus seven is two this means the number cannot be nine whatever number come here is less than seven but what is that number so you're subtracting a number from here you're getting four here so what could be the possibility here so it has to be 13 13 minus 7 we're gonna give you 4 right okay just cross check sorry 13 minus 7 not 13 one second so minus 7 is equal to 4 we're getting 4 as an answer so hmm. so the number here has to be 11 so 11 minus 7 is equal to 4 yes so but this number is already given a, a value to 3 this mean it has to be 2 here if the number is 2 we're going to cancel this this will become 1 but 1 minus 7 is not possible it will take a borrow from 8 this will become 7 and this 1 will become 11 now you can check 11 minus 7 will gonna give you the answer 4 yes the next last one is 7 7 minus 6 is 1 that's it so I hope it's clear the subtraction was a bit uh, tricky one though it's simple I hope it's clear how we have solved in case you have a questions or doubts you can drop a comment below thank you so much for watching